How to fix Turtle Beach Stealth 500 audio not working. Fix 1. Check the headset's power and battery. Ensure the headset is powered on. The charge slash pairing status LED should be illuminated blue. Confirm that the headset's battery is adequately charged, as a low battery can affect audio performance. Fix 2. Inspect physical connections. Verify that all cables are securely connected. For console use, ensure the wireless transmitter is properly seated in the USB port. Confirm that the digital optical cable is firmly connected at both ends. For mobile use, check that the mobile cable plugs are firmly seated in both the headset and the mobile device. Fix 3. Ensure proper pairing. Check that the connection status LED on the wireless transmitter remains solid. A slowly pulsing LED indicates that the transmitter isn't communicating with the headset. If necessary, repair the headset and transmitter by following these steps. Connect the transmitter to a USB port on the console and power the headset off. Press and hold the pair button on the transmitter for 5 seconds using a paper clip. The LED will begin to flash rapidly. Press and hold the power button on the headset until the power LED flashes rapidly. Within 5 to 10 seconds, the LEDs on both devices should indicate a successful pairing. Fix 4. Adjust console audio settings. For PlayStation. Navigate to Settings Devices Audio Devices. Set both input and output devices to USB headset, Stealth 500p. Adjust the microphone level as prompted. For Xbox. Ensure the headset is set as the default communication device. Adjust chat mixer settings to balance game and chat audio. Fix 5. Update firmware. Ensure your headset's firmware is up to date. Download the Turtle Beach Audio Hub for Windows or Mac. Connect the headset to your computer via USB. Follow the on-screen instructions to update the firmware. Fix 6. Reset the headset. If the headset is unresponsive, perform a reset. Shut down the headset by holding the mic mute button for 10 to 20 seconds. While holding the mic monitor button, connect the USB charging cable to a USB port on your PC. The power LED should blink red, indicating bootloader mode. 